Hello everyone and welcome to the third one-off model airport update. This one of Fargo Hector International Airport. Um, I've never flown in or out of Fargo Hector International Airport, but I have been to the A Museum that is nearby. It is a pretty cool museum. If you are in the Fargo region, I highly suggest you check it out. And uh, this is, looks like a pretty cool airport for me to do for one of these one-off airports, so I am doing it. If you would like your airport uh, featured in one of these one-off model airports, uh, please leave a comment down below of the airport that you think I should do. I would love to do it as long as they have the correct aircraft. If you would like uh, your model airport uh, featured as a subscriber route, uh, there is more info on that in the description. It needs to be a realistic airport and you need to send me a link to a video of that airport. I'm only accepting YouTube uh, airports. It can't be an Instagram or something else. It needs to be a YouTube model airport. Uh, I'd love to feature it as a subscriber route. And let's get into the update now. Five airlines fly to Fargo International Airport, those being United American Allegiant, Delta, and Frontier. We'll start here at gate one with this Frontier A321 in the Cubby the Bear livery. I'm kind of surprised that they fly the A321s here to Fargo, but um, this one came in from Orlando. All these flights are from uh, Sunday the 6th uh, of March 2022. No time frame for this update. Uh, all these flights are from the 6th. This one came in from Orlando, and we'll be heading back out to Orlando an hour late. Here is this Delta A321, this one in the thank you livery. Uh, this is just pushing back out for Minneapolis. Uh, so very interesting. Uh, they get the uh, A321s, Delta A321s from Minneapolis, and it looks like they fly in really late at night, and they leave really early in the morning. So I don't know what that is all about, because that is a really short flight um, to use an A321 on, so... I guess demand must be up there uh, for them to use this flight, uh, but very interesting, uh, pretty cool, because I can uh, use this aircraft here. So a uh, very cool flight to, to Fargo. And here at gate three, is this Allegiant A319? Uh, this one was Sharklets, which is inaccurate because uh, Allegiant doesn't have any with Sharklets, and this is just a fictional model by Gemini Jets. Still don't know why they made it, but uh, it's really the only thing we had for Allegiant for a while there. Um, Anyways, this one came in from Las Vegas. You can see the bag's currently getting loaded up. This will be uh, doing a turnaround and heading back out to Las Vegas. I figured I might as well get these two aircraft in the same shot. They're parked right next to each other. We'll start there in gate four with the SkyWest or American CRJ700. Uh, this is, of course, in the SkyWest house livery. This one came in from Phoenix Sky Harbor and will be heading out to Chicago O'Hare. And moving up here, we have this United E-170 in the Continental Globe livery, of course. This is parked in Gate 5. This one came in from Chicago O'Hare. And we'll be heading back out there later tonight. And our final aircraft here is this UPS 763. Uh, we'll just say he landed in from Louisville and is taxiing to the cargo ramp, which I can't uh, demonstrate here. Of course, this is just a one-off, so that's why there's no taxi markings or anything. Um, that'll do it for this one-off airport of Fargo Hector International Airport. If you uh, have a suggestion for one of these, please comment it in the comment box below. I would love to read uh, your suggestions. Um, thanks for tuning into this one-off airport, and I'll see you in the next one. Good night. Auf Wiedersehen.